Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how JavaScript works and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and to understand how JavaScript works we need to know how JavaScript runs and what is JavaScript engine. So before I go into the practicals and show you how JavaScript runs let us see how exactly this happens on the browser side. So let us say we have a browser here and I will also write it down this is a browser and this can be any browser like Chrome or Firefox or Safari or IE and in the early session we have learned that JavaScript was created as a browser side or client side scripting language today however JavaScript is used at backend and at the server side and everywhere but this is an example to show you how JavaScript runs on the client or the browser so in web communication we also have a server so let us say we have a server here and this is a client and server design so this is a server i will also mention it here this is a server and our browser is a client so i will also mention this is a client and in a normal client and server relationship we have the client that sends the request to the server and then the server responds back with a response so this is what happens in browser and server or client and server design as well now javascript runs on the client side or on the browser so we have javascript executed here and if i show you an example i will go to my desktop and create a new text file or a notepad file and i will name this as hello.txt and I'm going to create a very simple HTML code so that it creates a HTML page that we can run on the browser. Now do not worry, I'm just going to show this for demo. You do not have to learn HTML. So we just have to create a HTML start tag and the HTML end tag by saying forward slash HTML. And then we should be having a body tag. So I will say body. And similarly, we should be having a end tag for body. So this is forward slash body so this is the end tag and now inside this body tag i can write my html codes or html tags for example if i want to write a paragraph i will say a start p tag and a end p tag and whatever i write inside this will be a paragraph so i will say this is a paragraph and if i save this i will save and close this and i will also change the extension from dot txt dot html so now this becomes a html file and now i can run this on any browser now you are seeing chrome icon here because on my system chrome is the default browser however you can do a right click and open with any of the browsers i will just open it with chrome and it prints out this is a paragraph now if i have to run javascript i will again open the file in a notepad and here i will give a script tag so i will say script and 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 script tag that is forward slash script now inside this script tag i can write my javascript so for example i will say console.log this is a javascript statement and here i will say hello world and i can give a semicolon semicolon is optional and I will save this and close this and I will again run the HTML file. Now, if I go to the developer mode by doing right click inspect or I can press F12 on my keyboard and I go to the console, you can see this is running the JavaScript. So JavaScript is running here at the client end or the browser side. And as of now, I have added the JavaScript within the HTML file. However, as a good practice, we usually create JavaScript file separately. So if I now again create a new file, I will create a text file and I will again name this as hello.txt. You can name it anything. And here I write a JavaScript code. I will say console.log and I will say hello world and I will save and close this. And now to make this as a JavaScript file, I will change the extension so i will say the extension is dot js 
and I will say yes. Now I have to tell my HTML code that this is the JavaScript file from where I have to get the JavaScript. So here I will remove the JavaScript code from here and here I will say the source for script is this file which is hello.js now because these two files the html file and the javascript file are on the same location i do not have to give the complete path i can just give the file name hello.js and this is src this should be src which is for source and i will save and close this now if i run the html file and go to the console you can see now this is running from the javascript file now you have seen that this runs from the client end or the browser side however this javascript needs a javascript engine so here every browser has a javascript engine so here you can say this is a javascript engine and every browser whether it is chrome or firefox or ie or safari has a javascript engine which actually parses and interprets the javascript code so if i go to google and search for javascript engine and if i go to the images you can see all these images for the javascript engine if i go to any of these images you can see here is an example we have a javascript source code which gets passed and interpreted and finally converts into a bytecode and all this happens in the javascript engine so you can see all this is a javascript engine and here are different examples of this javascript engine so from source code until the bytecode we have all the steps which is performed by javascript engine if i again go to google and here i'll search for list of javascript engine or like i will see list of browser javascript engines here you can see this is a list of javascript engines and if i go to this wikipedia page i will provide all these links in the description of this video so here is a list of ecma script engine so we know javascript is a uh, follows the ecma script specifications so here you can see if you want to see specifically javascript engine this is the link for wikipedia page and you can see different browser for example google uses v8 engine for javascript firefox uses spider monkey safari uses javascript code and microsoft edge uses chakra so all these are different javascript engines which are used by these different browsers and this is how we can run or this is how javascript runs on the browser we know that javascript can also be run at the back end or can be run at the server end we will learn more about this in javascript programming and i hope this was very useful for you if they, this has helped you you can always share your knowledge with others and make sure that everyone knows this about how javascript actually runs i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching